Since the dawn of civilization, humanity has been on a quest to understand its place in the universe. It is dilemma and paradox that drives innovation. And the paradox is that we are alive knowing that we will die and we're probably the only creature in the animal kingdom with that knowledge. A drive that has built civilizations and transformed consciousness. Innovation has given rise to nations and new religions. The roots of innovation lie in the spirit, in the determined, sometimes desperate search for a larger meaning that will make sense of our existence and decide our fate. New technologies. I don't think of innovation as necessarily technological innovation or inventions. I, I see it as a state of mind. And to the corporate elite. What we have throughout the world now is really not sort of dictatorship or democracy or the absence of democracy. What we have is corporatism. Yeah, it really is the pursuit of profit that is the causal mechanism behind both prosperity and failure. You can sacrifice the environment to profit, you can sacrifice your employees to profit, you can sacrifice your customers to profit. Unless we come back to the immortality each one of us is, is seeking through our innovation, we're dead in the water. It's impossible to achieve business success without a high level of creativity, without a high level of innovation. It's a very contemporary and ageless idea. Innovation is what defines the life of countries and the lives of companies. Singapore was a malaria-infested swamp. Here, it's been contrived. This Sand here has been brought in from somewhere else. It's been dumped here. It's been artificially created. And this raises a fascinating problem. Can you take something that is spontaneous, like the Cambridge phenomena, the growth of science around Cambridge or the growth of science around Harvard, and can you somehow contrive it? Can you import it? Can you bring it here? Can you sort of put it down and expect it to work? And that's the question we're going to be asking ourselves. Join Dr. Charles Hamden Turner on a unique odyssey through time in an exploration of the human condition and our need to innovate. What we have in the world are not conventional economics. It is a giant learning system where the people who learn fastest are going to be most influential. But they'll only be influential by teaching others. It's not a finite game with winners and losers. It's an infinite game, an infinite game where you teach others better plays, where you improve the game itself, where you spread best practice. Innovation and the fate of nations. If you want to have a life, and if you want to have it more abundantly, then innovate and create. Your country needs it, but above all, you need it. It's a better way to live. From director Raymond Ferris Ablin comes a timely and compelling high-definition experience. Innovation and the fate of nations.